Okay, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and throw a curveball in. This is Pluto Sinistry. And I'm gonna be doing like jumping back and forth because I'm back to be doing videos now, like I told you guys. And um, I just wanna mix it up a little bit so that, like, cause you know, you gotta go through all 12 signs with each placement. So, you know, I'm gonna put in a little bit of contrast as I work my way up on finishing these um, planet centuries in um, the partner's house, okay? So Pluto, Pluto, conjunct partners ascendant sinistry and i'm going to do some separate videos talking about pluto as well because it's really important it's really really important um so if you have your partner's pluto or your pluto in your partner's house vice versa conjunct the ascendant um here here you have a very intense almost obsessive no obsessive contact with someone else off top off top and depending on what other placements you have with this person aspect in this person determines how intense more intense is going to be and how controlling or possessive is going to be now i've heard Many astrologers give this placement a very bad rap because it's suggesting that the Pluto person becomes controlling, and, and they do, they do, of the first house person in a way to where they end up restricting the first house person because the Pluto tendencies come out. And Pluto wants to keep the first house person protected from all of these bad guys that's coming to seduce the first house person and that's coming to want these sexual explorations from the first house person that's coming to suck the blood out of the neck of the first house person all of the things that Pluto wants to do to the first house person, they assume that everybody else wants to do it. And let me get this out real quick. There's a possibility that so, if you happen to be <laughs> affiliated with other people around that same age group that that Pluto person that you're dealing with age group is, they could be absolutely right. And thinking and assuming this, okay? And that is why it makes sense that Pluto would step inside of a role of aggressor, protector, and obsessor. Because they see the first house person as like this seductive, powerful damsel in distress even and the first house person doesn't even have to be doing anything to be damseled and distressed about the first house person can be a dude a very masculine dude and Pluto is going to be like oh there's a damsel in distress and that damsel is calling for me She wants me. It They want me to come and save them because I'm claiming them. They want me to claim them. And because I'm claiming them, I have to do these other things. I have to imprison them. <laughs> I don't know. And this is why there's that take on Pluto in the partner's first house being very restrictive, very controlling, and this can turn into abuse. It definitely can. It can turn into abuse, but at the same time, so can um, um, other Pluto aspects. 
okay? The sex towels, especially. Because you got a sex towel energy on top of a um, obsessive planning. Okay? So, and I will explain that later. But with the conjunction, yes, it can turn physical. It can turn physically abusive because you're dealing with the person's physical. And you're dealing with a very, like, yo, if y'all don't understand how these energies activate each other, I don't get what you're doing. I don't get why you're you're, you're even in astrology. It It's real, okay? And I'm about as real as a person can get, and it's real through just observation and understanding alone how this works. That Pluto individual could usually be a rather distant, detached, um, freedom-loving individual that will give other people they've been with space and all that. But when they come in contact with the first house person, they all of a sudden become something different. They might even say, have you, and this is no excuse, but have you ever heard sometimes some abusive people be like, I mean, I don't know what, I, I don't know what came over me. I don't usually do this. I don't do this. Because the energy just revs up. And depending on what sun sign, Venus sign, moon maybe, the um, Pluto person has, depends on how they will usually handle a situation, depends on how they may handle it different with their um, that, that conjunct, them touching the person's ascendant. You know. Because it makes them become passive aggressive, they start doing crazy stuff. Because they don't, they want to suppress that energy. They want to, if they're not with the ascendant person, and they're trying to get with the ascendant person, or they they got their eyes on that ascendant person, they will do manipulative stuff. They can straight out lie to the ascendant person to get the ascendant person to sleep with them or be with them in some type of way. And this is the crazy thing about it because sometimes you this is where you see mistresses and like side pieces and stuff play out as well. You know, and Liz has another aspect that will do this, but and the reason why I'm saying this is because you do. Because what ends up happening is you have Pluto believe, you know, under any means necessary. Like I I really want this ascendant person. And they go into this mode of survival, <laughs> like, raw survival. Like I have to get the ascendant person and I have to, and under any means necessary. And depending on the person, you know, we have people that have control of themselves, you know, they won't go overboard but they'll always have this thing for the ascended person by just seeing them physically that makes them want to own to hold to have to have like have have like have they you know they want to to just lose it on the first house person. Like, like they want to do all these things. <laughs> they want to do all these physical things to the first house person. So this gets real deep. Now, but I will say this. I will say this. Maybe if, okay, if you're a, a, a couple to where you're more like, let's say the, the, the man's Pluto or the masculine's Pluto is the one that's on the woman's first house, the, or feminine's, the ascendant or the first house person, ascendant person could actually admire this because they feel like the Pluto person is just like really, really 
into them. The Pluto person can become, can become like this knight in shining armor. The Pluto person can have this person back. But they can also betray the first house person too. Because you have to remember. Remember what I told you. The Pluto person can find themselves lying to the first house person to by any means necessary. To keep the first house person. Because remember, a lot of times Pluto doesn't want to be triggered. It's like manipulation. I'm going to keep you in, like, in your place real quick. So that I can know you're here. Like you're here. In your mind. And I own. You. I own the way that you look. Now. Yes. Yes. The Pluto person can take issues. Or have issues with the way that the first house person looks or dressed. But I. I don't think that that's the case. Most of the time, because the Pluto person is actually highly attracted, sexually attracted to the way the first house person dressed. Like, it's going to be something about them that physically they find sexually appeasing. This is very good with relationships, by the way. If, 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 God forbid, if both individuals can control themselves. And I'm talking like, it doesn't turn into anything physically abusive, but... In a sexual way, it can be very physical. It can be, it can be raw. Like, <clears throat> really mind blowing. Um, very physical. It can be physical, 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 and intimate. Intimate, because we're talking about Pluto here. To where it happens a lot. Now, let's go back to when I was talking about how the first, the Pluto, where this could be like a mistress or a cheating relationship because the Pluto person is going to want to be sexually involved with the first house person by under many means necessary. They're not going to really want to pass that up. So they'll, they'll lie to kind of get their way. And they will tell themselves anything. They will tell the first house person anything to kind of get their way. And what happens is they think it may be, okay, I need to just appease my physical senses because I don't understand like why I'm, I'm being attracted to this person. And not to mention, if other placements is there, it gets deep. If other placements is aspect in this as well, it can get pretty deep. Um, so yeah, you know, so yeah, you know, but what happens is what triggers this is the sexual relation, the sexual interaction triggers the, um, this even more, it triggers the energy. To now, it's hard to break free from. And you're thinking like, dang, the Pluto person's like, I just wanted to quench my thirst. Like, I just wanted to, it was something that I feel like I wanted to experience. But I thought it was going to be something I can control. But they can't really control it. And they can't really control the first house person. Because the first house can be very elusive when you think about the fact that the first house only represents the outer parts of ourselves. So it's compulsive. Like they will end up probably, you know, having, finding themselves hard to quit the fling, even though it may not be healthy, even though they could be with somebody else. They can find themselves constantly, like, obsessed with each other in the sexual aspect of their relationship. Like, constantly having sex. In public places, because Pluto, public. The Ascendant. It's kind of like, wherever I see you at, and I want to have you... If I see you and you turn me on, I want to have you where I'm seeing you at. Like, right there. Like, why do we need to go 
to barricade ourselves in the bedroom. When we outside, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing but space and opportunity. <laughs> you know? They, the Pluto person just wants the house person right there. Now, let's talk about the house person really quick because we're already at 15 minutes, 23 seconds. House person really does feel the same thing for the Pluto person. You know, um, I really do feel like the only difference is that I think that the how the Pluto person feels it first more. It's a, it's a, it's a um automatic notice that there's this sexual desire there for each other. Like okay, you know what? But depending on the other planets at play, like for some people, it's a little bit more deeper. It's a little bit more attraction. Like maybe at first sight or something like that. Sometimes maybe for more and more than the other, vice versa. You know, none at all until they start interacting with each other and. Still, it depends on the planets in the chart. Who you're going to have. You can have a couple people that you have this aspect with. But baby, one that you really deal with like that. Because it's something else in the chart that probably emotionally ties you together and all this different stuff. But Pluto doesn't necessarily need the emotional part when it's dealing with the raw physical aspect. Because there's intimacy Right there, to be honest with you, there's emotions there. But it's harder to contain the emotions and be rational with it, the interaction. And here's another thing. Everybody else around notices it. They notice the tension. They notice the... Um, they notice the interaction. Especially... This, this, is, the, this is the... This is the kicker, especially once some type of intimacy or connection or sexual aspect happens. There's no planning it off once you go there. You, it's no planning it off because the Pluto person is going to want to literally you know Bring that how the ascended person in the house person in and just touch, and the house person is going to forget like oh well we're here we're there you know and they're gonna allow it because they want it too. Not every time. Not every time. This is where you start getting iffy and you know there's like boundaries being crossed and abuse and stuff like that. Because the Pluto person is going to be like, hmm. Depending on which one, who the Pluto person is, some people have more control, I feel like. But the Pluto person gets very touchy. Yeah. But, still, with that being said. <laughs> the house person feels... At least at first, you know, the house person feels irresistible a lot of times. And the house person, once, what I was trying to point out, I was trying to make, the Pluto person sometimes notices their attraction first, very heavy. The house person gets triggered through some type of contact. And then the house person starts becoming curious in the, the, the Pluto person and looking at them in a very sexual way and wanting the Pluto person to own them. Only if they choose. They have, the house person has more control. I believe, I feel, the house person has more control over a lot of their interactions with the Pluto person, you know. And the house person is going to enjoy the fact that the Pluto person is obsessed or cannot keep their hands off. There are psychological games that happen here that can be hurtful. Because there's a tension. There's an almost anxiety that comes over these two. Because they want to be literally interactive with each other wherever they're at together. And if something is in a way that cannot have that happen, then you start having these psychological games. Because it's like, oh, well, I don't want to be this crazy over you if you ain't crazy over me or 
there's this constantly trying to check themselves like man this ain't right this ain't healthy like what if i'm doing the wrong thing what if this turns bad you know there's so many different things but the house person can definitely enjoy it this with the pluto person and sometimes even want to be control over the pluto person like these two that like, let's go with the house person the house person can actually feel anger come up i think this could be on both ends if someone else tries to zero in on that pluto person You know, very territorial. It definitely probably could be good. <laughs> you know, because the intimacy is there, but the problem is, is that does it go deeper than that? And a lot of times with Pluto, it does, because even though its surface is deep, I feel like it seems surface because it's Pluto on the Ascendant. But it's really deeper because, it, to me, the Pluto person definitely peeps inside of the psyche of the first house person. It understands them. They understand what they need. They understand how they want to be touched. They understand them on a deeper level. Even a lot of times why they move the way that they move. But the risk and the scary thing and the anxious thing and the fun and the thrilling and the when I say scary aspect to it all is the fact that it's like they take a risk it's like man let's just throw it all to the wind and just just do this but the problem is is that it never really can just be surface one person gets drug in to the point of no return most times Okay, so this has been Pluto, Partners First House Industry. I'm going to be talking more about this, guys. Okay, because I'm back. I was saying this a lot before, but no, no, no. Seriously, this is, this is different this time. <laughs> a lot of changes that I, that's just that's been made. Okay, I'm going to fall to like, like the video, subscribe to my channel, because you know. No, I'm gonna gotta say, I'm gonna keep saying this. I'll be back. <laughs>